If there's one thing we've learned during Eric Tacosta's tenure as Ravens general manager, it's that he's never going to stop looking for ways to upgrade this team and to improve this roster. That was the case this morning as the Ravens announced a trade in principle with the Minnesota Vikings to acquire Pro Bowl pass rusher Yannick Ngawe. Now this is a move that is clearly going to help this defense because Ngawe is one of the best players in the NFL at his position. This season, he already has five sacks and two forced fumbles. And in his career, he has 42 and a half sacks. He's a proven player who can get after the quarterback. And here's the thing that strikes me about this deal. The Ravens already had the best defense in the NFL in terms of points allowed per game. But DaCosta wasn't content with that. He wasn't just sitting on his hands. Like I said, he's always looking for ways to improve this team. So he goes out there and he gets in Galway, and that's going to help this entire group become even more dynamic. It really reminds me of what he did last year at the trade deadline when he went out there and acquired Pro Bowl cornerback Marcus Peters. Just go look at what DaCosta has done via trade over the past year. He got Peters, he got Pro Bowler Calais Campbell, and now he's added in Galway to the mix. Clearly, the Ravens are trying to win now. They have big expectations this year, and this move is another indication of that. Now, it's the bye week, but it's clear that Tacosta and the Ravens are still working. It's also worth pointing out that the NFL Network's Ian Rappaport reported that the Ravens are likely to sign veteran wide receiver Des Bryant. So clearly, they're looking for ways to make this team better. Also, the last thing that I'll mention is that in the statement, that the Ravens released earlier today, DaCosta said that we're not done building this team as we continue to chase our ultimate goal. So what other tricks does he have up his sleeve? I don't know exactly, but it's clear that he's gonna turn over every stone looking for ways to help this team win. So it's a big day in Baltimore. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, but enjoy this news.